it's Thursday. Finally. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. We're about to watch the first NFL game of the year. I guess go Bills. Yes, get excited. What the hell? Bills I Rams. Give a shit about the NFL as a general prospect, but. Yeah. All right, we got another two. We're trying tonight. We can do them separately. All right, you want to do uh, coffee or just the straight up beer first? Um, let's do the one on the right and save the coffee right. for later because coffee can be a little yeah. saturating. All right, so this one is Rogue Pumpkin Patch Ale. The can art is exciting. It's Very like cool. a, it's like a haunted wheelbarrow full of spooky pumpkins. Yes, it is an ale brewed with roasted pumpkin. It is a one pint. It even has the, the star here on the back. It's the way they rate what it is. And it says it's malty, sweet, and a little roasty. Mm. No bitterness. And I don't know why biscuit is on there, but apparently biscuit, biscuit is, a, is a thing, babe. Biscuit in beer? Yes. I'll just take your word for it. All right. So do, 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 where is Rogue out of? Uh, Newport. I can't even do anything. What? Is that Newport, Oregon? O R. Appears to is that an O? I don't know. Yes, Sorry. it is. All right, hey, all right, out of order. Wow. I could oh, be, man, I could I be wrong. Glasses. Yeah. So it pairs well with butternut squash soup, Obviously, seared venison, have that on here. and shortbread cookies. Wow. It is a six point one percenter. This has twenty five IBUs, but on the pumpkin scale back here, the star scale says no bitterness. I would show them the star scale because that thing's actually a pretty good pictogram. Yeah, that shows you. Like, oh god, that's air really focuses bright, in. Terrible. Okay, you can see how that is and see how what it shows you. You know, bitter or whatever. It's an malty. innovative way to show. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know what biscuit's supposed to be. Biscuit. But apparently, there's no biscuit in it. Yeah, you know, I suppose that's a good thing. Commercial biscuits. Mm. Dare risk dream. I don't know what that's about. It's like live, laugh, love. But yeah. have we had any rogue beers? I think we've had like yeah. one rogue, rogue dead beer. guy. Is dead a very guy. good beer. That's that's the one we had. The dead guy. Okay, that is was pretty good. So, all right. Has a nice color to it. Not hazy at all. No, not hazy at nice all. Nice kind of red ale color. Yes, you can do the stupid fingers. Not a ton of. Head on it. No, not at all, really. Could be the glasses I'm using, too. We just, mm, you can smell the spices right on the top. Yeah, it's very roasty smelling. Oh, that's very good. That's a lot like the King Don, but like, oh, I a little Oh, I could drink a thousand of these. This is very, very good. I could eat a thousand of these, too. Someone's trying to die. All right. It has a lot of, a lot of spice. <laughs> yes. So... I do get cinnamon in there. Let's see what else is in this puppy. Pumpkin patch ale is made with whole pumpkins that we chop and roast by hand. I hope they chop them by hand and roast them in an oven. <sighs> Allows them to caramelize and with you know the natural I sugars. I can see the IBUs in there because there is a little bit of bitterness, but it Not I wouldn't much. characterize this as a bitter beer by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Doesn't really say what spices are in there. It just says pumpkin roasted and spices. So well, we all know what the fuck spice is. It's not like yeah. Put I mean, it's like pumpkin pie or spice. Or Listen, it's the, about how much pumpkin pie or spice or whatever. Are in yeah, but you can taste the pumpkin, the pumpkin and the spice. Yeah, it's very nice. I would have a ton of these. Yeah, this is get more of these. crushable. We this is one that we bought one. And yeah, because we didn't know six pack because. When we're trying new pumpkins, some of them are fucking abysmal. This one is quite tasty, and we need to go back. Yeah, this one's good. There's some that we've had before that we just refuse to have again. There's one made by Kentucky Barrel. It was yeah. Oh, it was like uh, coy, uh, 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 no, too much, too much alcohol. Yes. And the, uh, the atomic pumpkin. Atomic pumpkin. Who's that by New Belgium? New Belgium. Yeah. Blech. They had a good pumpkin it's beer like years ago called Pumpkin. <laughs> they don't spicy. make anymore. Yeah, Pumpkin huh. was excellent. This, I don't want peppers in my alcohol. Yeah, it's spicy, and I, you know, find no. spicy beers to be interesting. This one is. I don't like spicy beers. Repulsive. Yeah, well, it was not good. No. So. I'm not a fan. All right. Up next is, uh, well, we're going to do another one here in a second. So. Cheers. Cheers. All right. One down, one to go. Mm. 